congratulations on the ruling. How much does that change for Bombardier? Well, good morning, Heslinda. First of all, uh, delighted to be in Singapore. Yeah. Um, it, it makes a it makes a big difference. Um, obviously, uh, the unanimous nature of the ruling uh, created a lot of uh, removed a lot of uncertainty for for our customers uh, and and the markets at large. Uh, I think it's been a a big a big relief for for the industry. Uh, it's a great victory for competition, for innovation, for the rule of law, and and that uncertainty that inevitably was out there uh, as a result of uh, the the Boeing complaint has has, has been lifted now, and uh, we're, we're seeing very positive momentum uh, in the market from our customers. We had a lot of active campaigns. Uh, some of them were perhaps not as active as as uh, as they might have been uh, because of uh, because of the complaint. And uh, now we're looking forward to taking that uh, forward. Talking about support, you had support from U.S. carriers like JetBlue as well as Sprint. Do you expect? The ITC ruling to translate to orders for the C series from these airlines. Well, we certainly think the C series is a fantastic aircraft of for, course for you the do, North Colin. American market <laughs> and, and, and for the US in particular. And and testimony to that is the precisely the order from Delta and and, and the other order from Air Canada in 2016. Um, and and that's just an example. So I, I think uh, it, it is an aircraft that will have great applications in North America. And we do expect but that given, momentum but to given, resume. But given the ITC ruling, do you expect your backers, the likes of JetBlue and Sprint, to come to you now to say, you know, we're willing to place an order? We, we, have, we have a lot of discussions, and, and, and certainly we have had discussions with JetBlue and Spirit. Um, and, and we have discussions with other carriers in the U.S. And at, at the right time, we are very confident that we will have some significant breakthroughs in, in the U.S. market. Yes. You've talked about a letter of intent signed with an unnamed European customer. Uh, how's that coming along? Because that's already been delayed. The initial deadline was the end of 2017. We had given some indication that uh, we, we were planning to get the, uh, the purchase agreement signed by the end of the year, indeed. But uh, continue, uh, discussions are, are, are ongoing. They're continuing. Uh, those are very complex transactions, uh, sizable transactions, and, and obviously there are a lot of stakeholders. It takes some time to, to, to finalize. So, so we're still working on it. We're so still, essentially you're still confident that will materialize? We're very, we're very confident uh, that a number of transactions actually will come through in and, and, and Europe and elsewhere. Uh, so it's, it's progressing uh, on a number of fronts at the same time, and uh, we expect 2018 to actually be a very good year with uh, with that positive outcome on the ITC side. I want to talk about your partnership with Airbus on the C-Series. How's it coming along and what's the biggest challenge in that partnership? So it's actually a pretty straightforward transaction. So it's proceeding very well in a very timely way. Uh, the, the, the primary driver is uh, is the, 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 the antitrust, the regulatory process. And, and we're very satisfied with the way that is progressing um, in, in the various countries that are, that are involved. And otherwise, it's really just a matter of working through the logistics with our future partners at Airbus. And uh, to, to be honest, there aren't any major hurdles. This, this, is, this is straightforward. There is very little overlap between uh, what we do with the C-Series and what Airbus does. And uh, therefore, it's straight, straightforward adding um, the, 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 the assets and the values and the benefits of, of the, two, uh, the two product families.